What's up guys, CP Modi here back with another video. Now if you are like me, a heavy Chrome tab user, chances are you may have wondered whether all those tabs are actually slowing down your internet connection. Or maybe you've just had someone else point out that you're the reason why the internet's going slow because of all the tabs you have open. Now, sort of on a quick logical thinking, yeah, more tabs, more connections, slower speed. But is that really the case? So today we're gonna find out whether having more tabs open is really slowing down your internet connection. Now, for today's test, rather than using the craptastic internet here, I took the test off to my current university, which has about 120 down by 130 up connection, which is definitely overkill for these tests. I then went ahead and set a software limit inside of Windows to actually limit the internet speed to 100 by 100. So I knew that every single test that I ran would have 100 up and 100 down. There wouldn't be some tests running at 120, some tests running at, you know, 110, where things would become unfair because of the internet speed. For today's test, we did put a software layer over the top of it, again, to create our theoretical bottleneck of 100 by 100. Now, obviously in the real world, no one's gonna have exactly 100 by 100 every single time for every single test, but at least for today's testing, we can get a good baseline across all the different tests we do if we have 100 megabits per second on every single test. I also to use the Dell XPS 15 with the Intel AC wireless chipset, and obviously I used Google Chrome as that is my browser of choice with all the extensions closed for fast to load times and boot ups of the system. I didn't want any sort of extra extensions that I run to affect any of the actual load times that you want to actually see at home. Now for testing, my initial thought was, well, just load up whatever tabs I have open and run with it until I realized that different tabs would actually function differently when loading them up. You've got videos that are constantly loading data until they've completely loaded through the video. You've also too got things like just web pages that are full of words and not really else too much there, and also to add heavy websites. So for today's testing, I opened up 10 YouTube videos, I opened up 10 tabs of uh, Twitter, and also to 10 tabs of Wikipedia to represent our sort of word pages where you don't really got too much stuff going on there in terms of other stuff and also to I loaded up 10 other pages of weird heavy advertising kind of uh, websites that were constantly refreshing and constantly bringing new ads which I really didn't like the sound of. I also too opened up 10 other tabs of Instagram also to of Facebook for a total of 60 different tabs open. Definitely overkill and definitely a lot more than what a lot of people out there would be running but it gives us a good extreme scenario as to well if you've got 60 60 tabs open, what on earth is going to be happening with your connection? Finally, I also do use GlassWire to measure up other stuff when we do get to them, so do keep that in mind that we're using GlassWire for our network measurements. So the first set of tests were actually pretty simple. Close the web browser, make sure they weren't running in the background by killing them off in Task Manager, and clicking the icon and letting everything load up. And here are our first set of numbers. As we can see here, not really that much of a difference. I mean, with our 100 by 100 internet connection, we weren't really seeing too much of a difference between the slowest load time and also to the fastest one. Don't get me wrong, definitely having one tab versus 60 tabs was definitely a big difference, but at the same time, it wasn't really that noticeable once we actually used it in the real world. A few seconds doesn't really make that much of a difference unless we're then waiting for a lot more time. So honestly, I kind of was hoping the results would be a little bit more exciting. So with those boring results back, I headed back here to the studio where I loaded up the exact same test and we used the terrible internet connection here. Now, speaking of the internet connection, we got a really lucky day of 3.2 down and just 0.4 up. So the internet today was actually running fairly good. I reloaded these tests and damn, those numbers were definitely quite different. Unlike at the university where we had a symmetrical 100 by 100, this slower speed of 3.2 down and 0.4 up actually wasn't really that great for loading up all the pages, and really we can see some massive differences. Loading up one tab was extremely fast, especially on the NVMe based SSD, but once we started getting up into the higher amounts of tabs we could see things dropped off really really fast, and if we draw up this line graph, we can see things go downhill really, really fast. The more tabs, the worse everything got, to the point where some pages actually killed themselves in Chrome because they were taking too long to actually respond and load the data that Chrome just thought it was a dud tab and didn't bother loading it. In fact, once I did my 100 tab test, about 50 of them flat out did not load. They just came up with an error because there was no internet connection, even though about the other 40 or so tabs did load up so things weren't going that great with a slow internet connection. 
But okay then, not all of us will be going ahead and loading up and closing down all the tabs every single day. What if you've just got them open already and they're using on your system? Are they really actually going ahead and using any data at all? So I fired up Glasswire and here are our results. As we can see here, having one tab open is obviously going to be using less data and the sites that are a little bit more ad heavy definitely did use a little bit more data but at the end of the day, unless you're on a cellular connection, you're not really going to be noticing the difference between 100 tabs open, 50 tabs open or just one tab open when it comes to data usage. Now with that being said, if there are 100 tabs of YouTube videos, 100 tabs of Vimeo videos and stuff like that, obviously you're going to be using a ton more data, but when it comes just to standard words and picture type of websites that aren't constantly refreshing, you're really not going to be noticing that much of a difference. Once the internet here finally loaded up all the web pages, I grabbed another machine and also two did a speed test and found just about the same speed of about 3.2 down and about 0.04 up. So honestly, once those tabs were loaded up, everything was just about okay. So overall, does having more tabs equal slower internet? Well, kind of yes and kind of no. Kind of yes because the first time you load up all those tabs, everything's going to slow down, especially if you have a slow speed like 3.2 by 0.04, you're definitely going to have a noticeable dip in speed for the entire network. But if you've got something like a symmetrical 100 by 100 or even just a similar speed connection, maybe even 40 by 20, you shouldn't really be seeing too much of a speed drop. You may see a few more seconds to actually load up all the pages because they all didn't need to uh, actually download, but at the end of the day, when it comes to overall network speed, you're not really seeing that much of a difference. And when it comes to just having them open already, they're not loading up or anything like that, as long as you're not downloading anything using a YouTube video player or anything like that, and they're basically just words on a page, you're not really using any more data within an hour than you would if you only had one tab open. And I definitely will say that it will depend on the sites that you have open and have running as to, well, what kind of data you usage they are. Are. Text based websites, once again, are the lightest on terms of data, and when it comes to videos and photos, they are definitely going to be using the most amount of data. But overall, is there a difference? Yes, slightly, but at the end of the day, it's not really that noticeable. But let me know, guys, what you think down below. What web browsers do you use, and are you like me and have a ton of tabs open, or do you close them off when you are finished? Let me know what you do down in that comment section. Otherwise, guys, thanks all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.